In 1971, Jim Mosier, Paul Ray, and Bob Collins started the Pacific Coast Producers Committee to form a cooperative in San Jose, California. The vision was simple, to create a home for its growers' crops. For the past 50 years, that vision has continued, and Pacific Coast Producers has grown to become the leader in private label canning. The secret to PCP's success, it starts from the beginning with the men that established the company based on trust and honesty. Paul Ray, which was the president of Pacific Coast at that time, formed it, you know, and he really picked up some good people, I'll tell you. Their philosophy and their style kind of just permeated this company. We always make the right decision, not, not the right decision in the sense of business sense, but it's we do the right thing. And that's really, really important in a company like this where you have so many growers to take care of, 160 family farms that we, we have to keep happy and we have to keep our markets happy, but we just have a company of integrity. I think that, that's the biggest part of this. And the reason we were able to exist is that we were so lean. We had a very small overhead. I was at a meeting in San Francisco with Tri-Valley one time and I met a vice president of Tri-Valley and he says, you know, what do you do? And I said, well, I'm the plant manager of Oroville. And he said, well, who's your vice president that handles these type of problems? I said, we don't have one. And he says, well, who does this? I says, we have just one person doing all these jobs. And one of their grower members looked at the vice president of Tri-Valley and says, guess what? They don't even have one of you. And that's what kept us lean and kept us able to compete. We have a very strong management team, and I believe that the board has fully trusted in our management to make the right decisions. Having growers as their board of directors is no guarantee of success. Uh, the, the history of agricultural co-ops will tell you that instantly. When we started out, the CEO of Tri-Valley was a farmer, and I thought that's the way it should have been in PCP. Larry Clay told me no. The CEO should not have belonged to any one commodity. You know, he shouldn't have a dog in the race. He should look out for the whole company itself. That's why I think PCP has been so successful that they have ran it like, you know, a company. So as a board member and a grower, you have to wear, we, we call it two hats. You have to be willing to take your hat off as a grower when you walk into that boardroom and do what's right for the Pacific Coast producers rather than what's right for your own operation. The mission is, not only do we want to provide a home for their crops, but they're owners of this business and we have to provide them a solid return on that investment in that business. So traditionally co-ops focus on, we're going to do whatever we have to do to sell the crops and financial considerations come second. We run this as a holistic business. We make every decision for in two ways, what's the right thing for the grower, but what's the right thing for the business as well. And sometimes those conflict, and that's the role of management is how to balance that. But our ultimate goal always is to achieve both those missions. And, and I think that's why we're successful today is I think because we've figured out how to balance those, those two um, uh, desires or objectives, how to provide a long-term home for our growers' crops, but also provide them a solid dividend uh, on their investment in this business. I love the idea that we're owned by, by growers. I love the idea that we're owned by family farmers. I'm very proud to say that I work for a company that has, is owned by family farmers. I think that the employees really enjoy working for the growers. I think we all know that our grower owners are out there growing healthy products that we turn into good food for sale. And I really do believe that's an important factor for almost everybody that works here. PCP has meant so much to my family. I mean, knowing that they are buying my peaches and I am aligned with such a strong buyer and someone that the values are in line, um, allows me to do and live and provide for my family, my community, my employees. Working with Pacific Coast producers, you know, yes, we are owners, but we know it's a stable home for our product. You know, PCP and grow, the, the growers are in the same boat. You know, if they don't do well, we're not gonna do well. And, um, and we're hoping that as they grow, the grower grows. And know that we've got a trusted partner like Pacific Coast Producers that's, that's taking our commodity, 
um, and and turning it into you know a fabulous product and and making great returns for us, then we know we can look forward and continue on and build a business plan uh, to continue on farther. You know they've strategically placed themselves in positions to be advantageous to what what they're doing, but the mindset has always been being very financially conservative and uh, really looking after the interests you know of the growers. So I think the future is bright. It's very bright for the cooperative. PCP recognizes that in their long-term vision that there's going to be good years and there's going to be challenging years. And it seems that they have a plan for both and that's why I think they're here to stay and they're going to have a fantastic future. I think over the years, uh, going back to uh, the days of Paul Ray, Bob Brewer, Larry Clay, and now for the last 17 years, Dan Vincent, uh, PCP has always been led by visionaries, people who are never willing to stand still, always looking for better ways to bring more to their members and to their employees, uh, making sure they're, the many talented people they have are focused on the vision of innovation and technology to make the company better. Back when I started the company, we were kind of known as the small country canner. Uh, we had, you know, small plants, uh, you know, plants did just what they needed to do to get by. We had a, a nice customer base. We didn't have all the customers, but we were, you know, we, we, we had a nice book of business. Over the years, things have changed. We have uh, best in class facilities. We've come a long ways from that small country canner to this nearly billion dollar company that we are today. I think one of the greatest attributes that PCP has is that everyone is engaged serving the customer. Our customer service has always been number one. It doesn't do the grower to grow anything if he doesn't have somebody to sell it to. And, and we at PCP have to process that into something that somebody wants to buy. And they don't want to buy just at one time, they want to buy it multiple times. Well, I think that we've meant stability We've, we've battled through some, some incredible things in the, you know, in the past 50 years. You can't go anywhere and not run into our trucks, our brands, our products, restaurants, hotels, schools, grocery stores. It's pretty neat. I was looking for three things, quality, price, and service. And all three things had to be present in private label for the brand to be successful in a category. So we had to have the quality, we had to have a competitive price, and we had to have a supplier that gave us the service we needed. I believe that Pacific Coast Producers um, really works with their customers very well. I would say that the partnership aspect is very important. The reason why PCP grew and became uh, who they were to the U.S. foods. I think they're one of the highest quality can packers in the industry. But the big thing is the relationship side of it as well. You know, working with Andy, working with Ted. I mean, these folks to me, there's a lot, of, there's not a lot of suppliers I can say treat you like a true friend. And I feel that, that that's what these guys do day in and day out. I would say the defining difference is the people that I dealt with over the course of my career and tenure in that company from Dan Vincent, back to Larry Clay, from Andy, back to Pat Taylor, dealing with guys like Linton Hall, Bo St. Germain. So I'll encapsulate that all under one word, and it's the people. They're friendly, they're bubbly. Uh, they, it, I, I don't know how you put that culture together, but you guys have done one heck of a job because it's a, it's a quality organization, people you like to do business with. From the start, all the way through, it's just a, a great partnership. And, uh, and I, I always appreciate that. They're absolutely phenomenal people to work with. I think instantly you get the sense that PCP is a family. Um, anyone who works there treats you like your family. You know, I, I feel like I could call Andy at two o'clock in the morning um, and he could get me what I needed uh, without fear. Everyone was just so accessible um, that I think really made the difference in, in you know, PCP versus everyone else. If you look at PCP employees in general, you, you ask them and they're like, I think it comes down to the people. I think it comes down to, they're proud to say, we are Pacific Coast producers and I'm a Pacific Coast producer. Very rewarding. You walk out of a place with your head high, 
proud of what you did and proud of what you accomplished over the years. This company has had some good people do a lot of hard work. I worked all those different jobs in the plant and each one's unique and each one comes with downfalls and the good and a lot of it had to do with people you worked with or you know I just like doing the job. Pacific Coast Producers has always been just a great company. I always have the employees in mind. Personally it's been like a family to me because it's always been there for me. I, I'm grateful. I mean, most people think of a job as I, you get paid to do a job. I am grateful, and yes, I get paid to do a job, but I feel like PCP is more than just a job to me. It is a career. It's bigger than me, and I like being a part of that. I like being part of something bigger than me. I tell people that I work for an all-star team and with an all-star team. This has really been my whole life, PCP, uh, in terms of this is where I spend most of my time. Uh, this is where um, my greatest um, challenges have been. It's also been some of my greatest joys. I mean, but what I've gotten personally been able to do is I've been able to build a company um, with my values, with what I believe is important. Um, and, uh, and I believe it's something of lasting value. And that's, I, I think a lot of people can't say that. And, and that's, really what's meant so much to me. And again, working with people, solving problems, um, moving a company forward, building a vision, that's all been uh, very meaningful to me. And, and, and I'll be honest with you, I, I think I'm gonna miss all that. I know I'll miss all that. Um, I'll just have to find something, something else to do, yeah. I think the future is really bright for Pacific Coast producers. I was thinking about this last night. Larry Clay, on one of his last meetings that he had, talked about the transitions that were coming in the in the food business. And he was the prediction at the time was 50% of the food companies were not going to be in business in in the next 10 to 20 years. And we're a survivor. Um, we're not only a survivor, but we've thrived in this market, and we've really figured out who we are where we belong in the marketplace, and I think that bodes well for our future because our customers want to do more and more business with us all the time. Uh, one word to describe PCP. <laughs> That's a tough question, but magnificent. I think it's a magnificent company to work for. I'm gonna use the word dedicated. I think the company has a lot of integrity. One word, um, oh, it's gonna be difficult. You can edit some of this out here, so oh, yeah. yeah, I gotta think about this. I think integrity. If I had one word today, I would call them durable. I'd say that the one word I can describe is strong. Resilient. Awesome. Forward, I guess they're, they're constantly in motion moving forward. Great. Helpful. Flexibility. Good. As an employee, um, family. Loyalty. Yeah, loyalty. We are loyal to our customers, loyal to uh, our employees. Uh, we are loyal to the industry. Oh, partnership, definitely. Yeah. Um, I get kind of burned out on the word win-win, but it was that. But I think the better word was a partnership. I think it'd be integrity. Tenacious. I was thinking home. This is my home. You know, it's funny. The word that comes to my mind is steadfast, you know, because it keeps going and it's holding course. I want to say happy 50th to PCP, the best cannery in the world. Happy 50th. Very proud of you guys. Let's go, 50 more. Uh, congratulations and happy anniversary on 50 years. I'd like to say happy anniversary, Pacific Coast Producers. It's been a great 50 years and I look forward to another great 50 years ahead. Congratulations to PCP on a 50-year anniversary, and I'm glad that I was a part of it. Congratulations, PCP, on a wonderful 50 years in business, and um, how about 50 more? I just wish uh, this younger generation all the success that we, we are seeing today, and uh, they have a very bright future ahead. All our growers, uh, fellow employees, family members of employees, happy 50th anniversary, PCP. 
Well, I just say it, it, it's been a good run for, for 50 years, and, uh, and I think the, the future is brighter, and congratulations on 50 years, and I look forward to the next 50. Congratulations to Pacific Coast producers and everybody who works here and has worked here for making 50 years possible. We congratulate you guys on 50 years of, of producing outstanding product. And it goes all the way from the growers to the canners to the shipping department, all the way to the sales and marketing out in the field. Well, congratulations, Pacific Coast producers, owners, and, uh, and management team. It's pretty remarkable. 50 years. 50 years is not easy in this industry. And, uh, and I just, uh, on behalf of Bank of America and my colleagues, we tip our cap. Uh, you have done an exceptional job. On behalf of the McKelly family and the peach growers of Sutter County, I want to wish us all, the PCP, a happy 50th birthday. Um, let it be successful. I appreciate everything you've done for us. And I look forward to what we're going to do for the generations to come. So salute and happy birthday. Uh, my prayer is, is is that we'll have another 50 great years, and uh, congratulations to everyone, everyone involved, and uh, hey, and uh, enjoy the ride.